Folks, what I'm about to tell you will make your blood boil. We've uncovered a scandal that threatens the very core of our republic. Non-citizens registered to vote in Georgia. Not just a handful. We're talking potentially tens of thousands. This is not some conspiracy theory. We've got the footage, the confessions, and the numbers. And let me tell you, it's worse than you could imagine. So stay tuned because our final thought, it's a call to action you cannot ignore. Now, before we dive into this voter fraud bombshell, let's talk about another kind of fraud, the one that's hitting your wallet. Just like non-citizens are stealing your vote, greedy power companies are robbing you blind. But here's a solution that packs a punch. This amazing device right here, it stops your home from wasting energy, slashing your bills faster than you can say, voter ID. <laughs> don't let the system win. Visit don'twastepower.com for a 60-day risk-free trial and 65% off. That's don'twastepower.com. Click the link in the description for free shipping and bonuses. Order now before they sell out. Now let's get right into it. What we're about to show you isn't just shocking. It is a direct threat to our republic. We've got footage that proves non-citizens are registered to vote in Georgia. Not just a few, we're talking about numbers that could swing an entire election. Watch. We come from a company that is dedicated to registering Hispanic people so they can vote in upcoming elections. Are you already registered? We already voted. You already voted? Yes. Are you a citizen or? Uh, no. Have you already been registered or? Yeah. Are you a citizen or? No. Have you already been registered at work? Yes, we have. You've already been registered? Are you a citizen or not a citizen? No. No, yes. The apartment complex Elliot Norcross in Norcross, Georgia, is occupied primarily by non-citizens. We visited the complex to ask residents two questions. Are you a citizen and are you registered to vote? Shockingly, 14% of respondents admitted to being non-citizens registered to vote. Hola. Buenas, buenas, disculpe por molestar. Uh, venimos con una organización que se dedica a registrar a la gente hispana para poder votar en las elecciones. ¿Ya la registraron a usted o...? Ya. ¿Ya? ¿Y, y fue en el trabajo? No, o vino, vino alguien. ¿Vino alguien a tocar? Okay. Ah, ok. Muchas gracias. Y, oiga, ¿y usted es ciudadana o...? No. No, no. ¿Ya la registraron en el trabajo o...? Ya usted es ciudadana o no es ciudadana. No es. Ya lo están registrando el trabajo ustedes. Sí, ya. Ah, ya lo registraron. Ah, ya. Disculpe, es que no la oigo muy bien por el, el aire. Ya lo, ya lo registraron. Sí, ya. Y ustedes, ustedes ciudadana o no es ciudadana. No. No es. No, no. Venimos con una compañía que se dedica a registrar a la gente hispana para poder votar en la elección. Ustedes están registrados. Nosotros ya votamos, tío. Ya votamos. Sí. ¿Usted es ciudadana o Uh, no. no. ¿Usted ya está registrado? ¿Se registró en el trabajo o algo así? No. Sí, ya. ¿Ya se registró en el trabajo? Oh, ok. Ah. Oiga, ¿y usted es ciudadana o no es ciudadana? Bueno, pues, bueno, estoy no. Bueno, ¿De dónde viene usted? De Honduras. Sí. ¿Usted ya lo registraron en el trabajo o aquí han pasado a registrar? O... Mm, ya. ¿Ya? Ya. ¿Usted es ciudadana o no es ciudadana? ¿No es? ¿Son ciudadanos o...? No, 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 no. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Dios los bendiga. ¿Tú me estás diciendo que si somos ciudadanos? No, no. somos ilegales. Oh. Pero estamos establecidos en este país y si nosotros en este país no valía a ver, ¿me entiendes? Sí. Porque somos los mejores trabajadores que puede tener Estados Unidos. According to Migration Policy Institute, approximately 339,000 non-citizens live in Georgia. If the 14% statistic holds true statewide, over 47,000 non-citizens would be registered to vote. For context, Joe Biden won the state of Georgia by just under 12,000 votes in the 2020 election. Based on our findings, the integrity of the 2024 election is in great jeopardy. Did you see that? Non-citizens openly admitting that they are registered to vote. Some even saying they've already voted. 
Now, this is not an isolated incident. The investigative team at Muckraker found that 14% of non-citizens they talked to were registered voters. Now, let's break what, down what this means. Georgia has about 30, 33,000, uh, 300 and, um, excuse me, 300 and, 39,000 non-citizens. Now, if the 14% holds true across the state, we are looking at over 47,000 non-citizens on the voter rolls. And that's not a problem. It's a crisis. Remember, they claim that Joe Biden won Georgia by less than 1,200 votes in 2020. They claim. Now, these numbers could change everything. We are talking, not just talking about past elections. This puts the entire 2024 election at risk. But here's where it gets even worse. Finding these people on the voter rolls is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Non-citizens often use fake documents, aliases, you name it. The system is being exploited, and there is barely any time to fix it before the next election. Now, some might say, Gary, come on, this can't be that bad. But let me tell you, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The Oversight Project, the group that released the footage, has already referred to this to Georgia officials. They're ready to work with law enforcement to get to the bottom of this. But here's the thing. We can't just sit back and wait for the bureaucrats to sort this out. This is about the foundation of our republic. Every illegal vote cancels out the voice of a law-abiding American citizen. It's not just unfair, it's un-American. Let's be clear, this isn't about targeting any specific group. This is about protecting the integrity of our elections. It's about making sure that when you cast your vote, it counts that your voice isn't drowned out by someone who has no legal right to be part of our electoral process. We need action and we need it now. Voter ID laws, stricter registration process, whatever it takes. Because if we don't fix this, who knows what our elections will look like in the future. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. So here's the bottom line, folks. What we've uncovered in Georgia isn't just a problem. It's a five-alarm fire for our republic. If you're in Georgia, it's time to act. Call your representatives. Demand an investigation. Demand action. Because if we don't secure our elections now, we might not get another chance. Remember, this is not about left or right. It's about right and wrong. The integrity of our republic is at stake. Every illegal vote cancels out your voice and your choice. We can't let this slide. It's up to us, the American people, to safeguard our electoral system. So my question is, what are you going to do about it? The clock is ticking.